everybody. Welcome back to another week of Summer Sunday School where mm -hmm. we're taking a closer look at the fruits of the Spirit. Today we are on love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. gentleness. So we're talking about our eighth fruit of the Spirit today, right gentleness. <laughs> right in the middle. We are not going to represent it with a banana, although a mm -hmm. banana is also a good choice yeah. because we're talking about being delicate, soft, right? Mm -hmm. So Chef Eiffel picked <laughs> Zikiwi as his fruit for gentleness when he put it in our fruit salad way earlier this summer. And he picked the kiwi because it is, it's a very gentle fruit. It like, is. One, it bruises really easy. It's impossible to peel or get out. Like, it's I don't care. Impossible. It is. I don't <laughs> care how many tricks you watch on the internet of this is the best way, like the spoon or yeah. anything. Like, it's still a tricky fruit mm -hmm. to And it's one that's peel. deceiving because it does have that fuzzy outer shell. Right. Um, but the inside is very soft so, and delicate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you have to be very careful. So that's what we're putting in our fruit salad today for mm -hmm. gentleness. We're talking about ziki. Mm -hmm. But before we get into any more, we do yeah. have a game that we want to play. Ooh, we're going to play yes. the opposite game. I like the opposite game. Yep. So yeah. we are going to give you a word. We're going to okay. give you a few seconds to think about it. And then Jennifer will respond with what the opposite of the word is that we gave you. Okay. So I'll give you a word. You guys give us what your opposite word is, and then Jennifer will give us her opposite, and we'll see if they match. All right, so if I say the word soft, okay. what is the opposite of soft? I'm gonna go with hard. Excellent, okay. didn't match what you guys said at home. <laughs> All right, if I give you the word easy, what is the opposite of easy? I could also say hard, <laughs> but. <laughs> But you just did, so you gotta think I of a did. different word. So I'm gonna go with, also meaning hard, but I'm gonna go with difficult. Good, that's okay. a good word. All right, if I gave you the word long, oh. what would you say is the opposite of long? I'm gonna go with short. <laughs> Not a long road trip, but a short, <laughs> short road, road trip. trip. All right, if I said good, Ooh. what is the opposite of good? The forces of good and evil. <laughs> All right, if I said high, not like high, oh. but way up high in the sky, what is the opposite of high? I'm gonna say you're gonna find me way down low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the last one, if okay. I said the word gentle, what would you say is the opposite of gentle? <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to like, you know, our days of like childhood. <laughs> I'm gonna say rough. Mm. Because my mom always used to tell us no rough housing, which meant like Plain cold hard. Down. Yeah. yeah, like you gotta be gentle. Yeah, so when we talk about being gentle, sometimes we're talking about being like easy or mm -hmm. soft or timid or yeah. shy or of course. It's kind of seen not always in a good way, you know, gentle, being gentle, it's like kind of baby mm -hmm. something. Soft, cuddly, cute, yeah. 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 But that is not what we mean when we talk about one of the fruits of the Spirit hmm. being gentleness. Hmm. So when we talk about the fruits of the Spirit being gentleness, we're talking more about how we convey God's love without actually saying words. Oh! <laughs> and so when we talk about sharing hmm. God's love without sharing words, we look yeah. at the way our actions convey God's word. But we're told in the Bible, like even Elijah, like has it, like our God is a mighty God, like yeah, especially the Old Testament, like I, I think you're <laughs> kind of read, a fire and brimstone say, I think kind you're of gonna God. Read something, but yeah, it's like very like mighty rushing, you know. Yeah, you think about you know Moses going up to get the Ten yeah. Commandments, and he comes back looking totally different. There's lightning and there's thunder, but even in the Bible where you talk about God's gentleness, even in the Old Testament. Mm. Okay. Um, so 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 12, it says, After the earthquake came a fire, mm -hmm. but the Lord was not in the fire. Mm -hmm. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? And he replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. And he recognized that that gentle whisper hmm. was the Lord talking to him. So that's kind of like the opposites that we talked about earlier in our game. Like, you know, gentle, rough. You could almost mm -hmm. do this where it's like 
really <laughs> powerful and mighty. Like there's an earthquake, there's fire, but that's not where we found God. Mm -hmm. We found God in a gentle whisper, the total opposite of a big disruptive mm -hmm. natural cause, right? The fire, the earthquake. Mm -hmm. No, that's not where God is. <laughs> so when we think of gentleness and showing Jesus's love without using our words, it might mean that you have an ear that listens to a friend who needs to talk. Mm -hmm. It means you have eyes that may need to cry with a friend who just got some devastating news. It might mean that you flash a big old grin or smile the next time you're walking down the aisle at a store. It may mean that a friend just needs a pat on the back, either as encouragement or just like, hey, keep going, you got this. So yeah, we get to show, in gentleness, we get to show Jesus' love without actually saying anything. Yeah, and that gentleness we can see throughout Scripture, the way that God deals with his people. Think about the way that you listen best to people who talk to you. If somebody comes up and is screaming in your face, are you really hearing what they're saying? Mm -hmm. No, but if they come up and gently talk to you, if they kindly talk to you, that gentleness is going to be what makes a, an effect. And so the people who you cry with, who you smile with in the at the store, the ones that you hold the door open for, they're going to recognize that you are different mm -hmm. by your actions, by your love, by your gentleness. And they are going to then get to see God's love at work through your actions. Yeah, these actions speak louder than words mm -hmm. and you get to show the power and love of Jesus as you show them to others. Yeah. So remember to show your gentleness and love of Jesus and come up with other ways that you can be gentle and show gentleness to others. All right, next week, we're wrapping up the fruits of the Spirit as we tackle the last one. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's going to be a big one for me. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can't wait to tackle that We've one. We've shown so great self-control <laughs> waiting until the very end to tackle it. <laughs> we have. We'll see you next time.